<clears throat> Hello, it is I, the one and only Dragons and Rubies, back from that as it were, bringing you all some more APS3 Cobblemon. Oh joy, the doors are doing that again. In the last part, the cops are over here, uh, we pretty much just caught the Zapdos. We explored for a good bit, died, had to deal with that. Uh, but, you know, it was all worth it in the end for a nice big yellow bird. Now, I think I did say in the last part I was going to look up some ideas for a nickname because obviously we found it perched upon the house in a zombie village. <laughs> um, but I did not do that yet, so we're going to postpone that for the next part. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I did do some off-screen mining. Nothing too drastic happened. I think I caught a few mons. I found a geode. Unfortunately, it was an amethyst one and not one for the Megasaur. If it was one for the Megasaur, I definitely would have started recording again. But, yeah, you know, freaking tricking me with that shit. Let's see, what did I catch? Ah, I caught a uh, Glimit in the Amethyst Geode and a Solosis, which actually spawned out here. So yeah, they apparently spawned here. I just caught it because I knew it was a, I know Solosis is a decent Pokemon. And I wanted to make sure that was all good in the end. So let's do that. Do something like this. Today, however, we are going to get started with some create stuff as we're going to start building some create stuff on top of the second floor. We're not going to put a roofing or walls yet because I don't know how big, how much space vertically I might need for this in the end. The goal today is to get a setup that will hopefully help us increase our total like ore yield. So. Uh, hopefully Double King rewrites the subtitle for me and puts something about how Create is great for automating, and she... <laughs> well... It's probably a good idea to learn how to make this eventually. Alright. And take the wrench. We have the wrench now. For those who aren't familiar, Andesite is just a stone-type block. So we need 12 Andesite Alloy, 4 Andesite Casing, and 16 Shafts. Andesite Alloy, how do we make that? Andesite... If I just switch up Alloy... Uh, Zinc or Iron Nuggets? Uh, we could probably use Iron Nuggets. I should have Andesite somewhere in here. Uh, do I have two pieces there? That's not voting well. Uh, I have a few more pieces there. Eesh, and not much else. Okay. Now the real question is, do I want to use my zinc for this? Wherever it is. I've mined up zinc before. Where the hell is it? Yeah, some raw zinc there. Oh, okay, we already have some iron nuggets. We don't need to make any more. Let me grab all that. Who knew? Server's not playing nice, it seems. Just gonna reorganize all that. Um, I need four pieces of those. How much does this get me only two so we need to go mine up some more andesite so let's go do that um now oh yeah i also found um a copper backpack while mining which actually has more slots than our current backpack but we can also use it as a separate store so that's why i have it just in case we need something to dump stuff in um, we need a place to mine, which actually, uh, no, let's go to where we've been, where we've been mining. That's actually something I do want to check out, though, now that I'm thinking about it. So yeah, we have this. What the heck? This one has a base directly south of that area, interesting. But it doesn't seem like anyone's set up anything in my direction, which is... Surprising to say the least. I'm trying to like zoom out as much as I can. 
Due to memory constraints. Okay. So then if I go... Ooh, Duplicate's not too far from us either. Damn, Dave. Okay, so there, there are some bases we've seen around here. Damn, Dave. Okay. Opsin. Super King, ANC, Sutere, Herbivore. Okay, okay. I guess that could be some way to locate some people's bases, if need be. I'll probably share the location of my base once, well, like, publicly on the Discord, once I actually get my tower set up, which I should hopefully have a set up. At least the first tower. Sometime today, I need torches, because I cannot see shit, sir. Um, I think this is the cave. Just gotta find some andesite, so like, we have the diorite there. There's some andesite there, but I'm looking for like a nice, chunky vein. Eh, it's a chunky vein, but it's above us, and looks like there's water up there. There might be water up there as well. Um, oh, here we go. Andesite. Mine up a good bit here. And that way, hopefully, we don't have to come back for a good bit. Uh, let's get, let me be like a stack? Uh, maybe two stacks. Yeah, two stacks, because that would help us make two stacks, or at least a stack of the stuff that we're mining this up for. I'm glad the server seems to be running relatively well compared to how it was the first couple days. This is like the third day, I believe. I've been wrong before. I was still a bit laggy, but it's definitely run worse. Uh, I feel like copper is also really something else I need to stock up a bit more of, because I've been passing it up for a while. I, I was even passing it up when I went mining. Even though I didn't, even, I didn't even get that much iron, I just got, like, enough to, like, maybe do some stuff today. I'd like to get some ore processing done, if possible. I, I think I've seen something like that. Okay, I've gotten like two stacks of it. Uh, let's finish up this copper vein and then we'll go back home. I should make an actual way to get back up though. That would be beneficial. However, for now, one, two, one, two. Make sure we get that done. Um, I probably, I'm probably gonna need to make even more now that I'm thinking about it. Andesite casing. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the flip? What is this? A deployer, a depot, and a machine belt. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm already glazing over. Uh, how about the shafts? Okay, okay, okay. Let me... A12. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Okay, uh, a deployer. Wait. A deployer needs that. Okay, so maybe I don't need a deployer. Or maybe... What the hell? Oh! Oh, I can just do it manually. Okay. Okay. That... Whew, that, 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 could, that, that got me a bit worried. I was looking at that and I'm like, what the hell does it want me to do? 
Um, but if I can do it manually, that's that's decent. I don't need a deploy or whatever the hell that was. Nothing too too insane right now. Um, I do need to place all those down. And I need an axe and this. Bop 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 bop. One, two, three, four. Okay. We got some casings. I'm gonna wait for all those entities to be erased before I start picking these up. Oh my god, that could have been some fire flooring now that I'm looking at it. Was it okay, we already got it cleared. Um do we need to mine this? Yeah, mining. Um, quests. We got this done. Okay, we're gonna get a random reward. Hold W to ponder. What's that? Okay. Brass or andesite casings could be used. What? Uh. Could also be used to decorate mechanical belts. Okay, so just 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 decorations. Got it. Um. Fast relay rotation in a straight line. Okay. I can decorate them with that. All right, all right, all right. Um, anything else like ponder? No? All right. Let's look at the quest belt. The uh, quest stuff. Automatic mining. A cobble gen. A millstone. A shifter. Generating power. Hand crank. I see everything. There we go. I had to make two for some reason. Sure, I'll take some slime balls. Okay, that was easy. Um, Watch your fingers. Okay, so we need gearboxes and gears. Gearboxes can be made with the andesite casings and cog wheels. Cog wheels be used with shafts or planks. It's 48. Oh my god, I did the math wrong twice. What is wrong with me? Okay. We got some gearboxes. Erm. Um. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Let's work on the large cogwheels left. Um. Two. And how many of those do we need? Sixteen. Nowhere near enough. Um, we do this. Alright, it'll be a bit of that, a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of this. A bit of all that. Okay, we got the 12 gearboxes. And okay, we're still waiting on the cogs. We'll we'll wait. It, it, the server will catch up to us. Um, if anything, let's actually re- let's continue making 16 more cog wheels. Gonna get a random reward. We got some sweet rolls. Okay. Let's eat one of these now. Mm. Mm. It's so good, I just have to eat it in lag. It's- there we go. Um, actually, I want to keep an eye on my- <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I was getting weakness because I think some of these were... Armor toughness weakness, max health weakness, armor knockback resistance. Yeah. 
because some of those were low. So eventually I'll have to look into keeping that maintained, but for now... Um... Oh. I also somehow, for some reason, got this. Eat and drink items. You know what? Screw it. Put it on. Uh, I will disable that because that looks very stupid. But if it helps lessen the need to do this stuff, the better. Because that means it'd be easier to keep stuff low. Um. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay. Let's do some pondering now. Let's ponder the hand crank. Hand crank can be used by players, alright. Hold right click to rotate it counterclockwise. And shift and right click to rotate it the other way. Okay. It'll halve the speed, okay. So the base is like 16 rotations per minute. But if you put a small cog, well, if it's a big cog in the bottom and small cog diagonally upwards, it'll double it. But if it's a small cog in the bottom, big cog on top, it will have it. Alright. Uh, let's work on a sifter. Need stone, a stick, another casing, two planks. Um, this seems doable. I might need to make some more and a site though afterwards. Oh! I gotta shift. Okay, okay, okay. This into this. In, into these two things, into these two things, into this. There we go. And we have the sifter now. Um, let me shove some of the stuff I don't need right now in here. Looks like we still got some decent andesite alloy though, which is good. Medium fuel tank. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Um... There's something I'm curious about that I haven't seen. He's like the stuff for conveyor belts and shit. I just haven't seen it. So I'm like curious where it all is. Um, in the meantime though, you know what? This copper backpack, I think we're gonna shove all of our create related items in there for right now just so that way i have room for stuff do i even have any oceans near me i do if i continue going north and past that there's an ocean good to know uh i'm gonna move this put that there just because the torch unlighting effect will keep on happening Honestly, next part I should probably look into food production and figure out if I can make anything that would allow me to eat without having to really worry about the buffs and debuffs and stuff of that nature from the other meals. I also hope this is kind of interesting for you guys. This is my first time actually playing around. Why could that not be me? <sighs> Anyways. Um, my first time playing around with the create mod. So, um, actually, let me... This will still have light. So I don't really... That's not kelp. Let's see, grass. Over there's kelp. So I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm kind of just learning as I go. I feel like I'm going to need a lot of this. And because I never really have played with it, it's why I'm using a lot of the ponders just to figure out what each thing does, instead of just looking at a video being like, oh, this is how you do this setup, just because I want to try to learn the basics of the mod myself before I go out and look for more, like, supplementary materials. If I have a basic understanding of how the mod works, then I might influence some ideas later on to make. 
I was thinking because of the um, thing that extracts the item from the thing, I was thinking like, oh, maybe might not need that much, but if you need six per like one bell, which I'm assuming is maybe like a block worth, blocks worth, then we for sure should, uh, maybe at the very least get like two stacks worth. That's what I'm thinking of right now, because it said you should see what combining a sifter and a millstone can do. Is maybe having some way to make sure the stuff that's being sifted doesn't go into the thing? Like, I, I want something I can turn off and on whether or not it goes in and out. I'll have to play around with that in my head, though. Well, in my head, like, when I'm actually building it. Oh, but it's thundering. Another Zapdos gonna spawn. You know what, I still haven't even checked the freaking footage of the last part. I really should, because I want to see if there was any messages about a Zapdos spawning while I was there. And if not, then that just means freaking... <sighs> that... That uh, Zapdos might have spawned for someone else that was there, and then they just left the area before it could get deleted. So it just stayed there until I came back, until I went back there. Which, if that is the case, I feel sorry for the person who did even at least try to capture it, but also, like... Can you really blame me? If a motherfucker stumbles upon a legendary, a motherfucker is gonna try to catch it, you feel me? Okay. We're here now. Um, let's put you in there. Uh, I was thinking for a second, oh, let's make a hopper, but I think I just used up all of my nuggets. Um, the plan is right now the second floor, and there's gonna be a third floor, and then the third floor, the fifth floor is gonna be split into two other towers, going from one right there, one right there. So we'll kind of make it like a Y shape, kind of, and then one more floor on top of that before the roofing. Um, and I want it on those two towers, maybe, either the two towers or the third floor to be a windmill. Is what I'm thinking. Hopefully a windmill that's actually going to be beneficial, because this is like the front of the house over here, but you, you, you never know, you know? Um, oh right, I have all those. Uh, yeah, you, those, 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 those can just sit in there. I will say the next part, I think I want to try to get uh, Dartrix, Drillbur, and Shellgun to level 35. I am worried about my Dartrix, because it gave me two Dartrix to evolve into, and I didn't know which one's which. So, yeah, that's fun. Might feel a bit claustrophobic at first. Uh, yeah, let's move it by one. Yeah, okay, that, that, that feels a bit better. And then maybe we put the machine either like right there or like right here, we'll see. Um, okay, what can I do with a mechanical belt? Ah, so point one to point two. All right. Connect items together, is there like a range? Accidental selections can be cancelled with right-click while sneaking. Additional shafts can be added throughout the belt. Okay. But is there like... Can be dead for aesthetic purposes? That's cool. Um... Cannot be connected in arbitrary directions. It has to be horizontal, all right, or it could be vertical up to a certain extent. Okay. Oh, also vertically. Interesting. And like that too. Okay. Well, what reason would you have for that though? It's banned from any length from two to twenty blocks. That's good. Use a mechanical belt for logistics. 
and transport items and other entities. I click an item to take it off the belt. Hmm, so if I give it a simple switch, I can turn it off and on. Alright. Oh. Hi, Amulga. I mean, I guess since you're here, I might as well. Dragon Breath. Look at shield gun. Oh wow, that didn't do much. That's the yikes. That's fine. I think it's doing too much damage to us. Yeah, that hurt a bit. What was that? Was that? That was electro ball. Yeah, it is pretty fast compared to shell gun. Um, I probably need to light up this area around us. Oh! Did we get paralyzed? Oh no, just acrobatics. Just took it out. Alright. Uh, Fury Swipes. Okay, we're immune to that. That's fine. And put that there. Put that there. What the hell? Leaf pile. Alright. that there. All right, good work, Drillper. Ooh, we learned Rock Slide too? That's pretty good. That's... not exactly where I want it. Can I place it here without much issue? Do those two things connect? I don't know. Because it has to be like this, because I need something to drop down into it. I wonder if a hopper would work. I think a hopper would work just fine. See, I need this to be powered right now. What happens if I put... That, that's, that's not what I wanted. That is most certainly not what I wanted. Um, I wanted something along the lines of like... Okay, well, I, I guess I'm gonna have to, like, chop it down here. No, that's in the way. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I need to move this up one. I need to move this up one here. And maybe elevate it by one. Okay. Which will then drop down into a chest there with a funnel on top of it. Okay. That's a really weird spot to put it. I don't know why anyone would put it there. But what we're looking for. It going right here, and when we crank it, everything's working the way it's supposed to. Good, good, good. Um, the only thing that's a bit questionable that looks like it's inputting, we want that to output. There we go. And now, while I would like to attach the sifter right now, we might wait to attach the sifter... <sighs> ...until we make a second floor. So this took one, two, three. I think we pretty much have to make it reversed on this side, kind of. To go there. So this will probably be eight blocks high before we have to add a roof, so the ninth block, and then when the ninth block is, we'll add slabs to it. Alright, that sounds like a plan. 